Hi everybody and welcome back to another episode of Valheim. We are currently on episode 28. In the previous episode we dug out this trench. Okay, So this is actually where our base is going to be. And I did deliberately go around this because I wanted to keep it into the base and incorporate it into our base. I have flats in this area out as best I can. I could probably do it better but for the moment, I don't need to. Uh, I did bring the, the wood cart here. Let me just get some stem before I jump across. Yeah, I did deliberately bring the wood cart over so that we can begin construction of our base. And this is by no means what the final product will actually look like is just I need a place to rest my head. <laughs> and that other base that we have is, although it's nice, it's a little bit on the small side, but we are still close enough to the plains, we're close enough to the, the dark forest, black forest, and we've got that dragon spawn over there. Can't see it too nicely because of the mist, but yeah. Okay, let's just flatten this corner out. You can see it's there's quite a bit of a difference. But yeah, let's get into our build. Like I said, this is by no means how the final base is going to look, but it's definitely how we're going to start it. Okay, uh, I don't have any core wood on me, but that's fine. As you can see, it's still not perfect. Uh, some of the floor disappears under the ground and so on, but we will work around that. So we're going to start here. I wish it wasn't raining. Let's see if I can actually go to sleep. It's because basically the rain is going to damage my building. But I don't think I'll be able to sleep through the rain. <coughs> But these worked out quite nicely, I think. We will do more of those type of buildings. Yeah, no. I can't sleep at this time. It's too early in the day. So while we wait, I do have all this extra meat and stuff, right? So. We can make a jam jar. Can make quite a bit of jerky. I'm not going to use all the meat because I've actually got quite a bit of jerky already. That's great. Let's go for it. I'm sure my bees would have replenished. Okay, let's put our berries back. I'll always need more berries, so we'll keep an eye out while exploring. Let's take the 14 stack and I'll take like that. Okay, the storm seems to be subsiding a little bit. I'm hoping so. Oh, my bees have lots of honey for me. Oh, my bees love me. 
It says the bees are sleeping. So that means it's night time. Bees only sleep at night. So let's just dry off. That's some good news, actually. Oh, something's attacking my base. Oh. Oh, grey dark. Grayling. See, that's what I want to prevent, is like, while I'm away, I want to be able to relax, no stress about the base being invaded, and that's why we're building that trench. And then I can make myself a proper garden and protect my beehives. Okay, I can still hear the storm in the background. Oh, the storm got quite bad, actually. This will be more or less the end of it. There you go. Yeah, I didn't want to build while the... while the storm was, because you... like, because we're building of wood, we actually get a bit of... Uh, like, deterioration. And then, for the scale that I actually want to go, but obviously I won't go to that scale right now, uh, it would be like a, a bit of a mission. I'll even go as far as saying it'll be quite a bit of an effort to keep building and repairing at the same time. So I definitely wanted to wait for the storm to subside. I actually need to do the layout first, don't I? So, yeah, let's do this. Okay, so that's two, three, four, five. I want three on either side. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yes, that's more or less what I want. See, that's where the, the ground becomes a bit of an issue. So we just go here. This is also why I wanted to wait for it to stop raining. I'm going to have to dig this a little bit at you. Not like a hectic dig, we just smash it out just a little bit. Okay, so we're at four. It's five, six, seven, eight. One. Two, three, four, five. See you once again. But this corner was slightly higher than the rest, so I was expecting that. Obviously, I like I said, I don't want to dig this out. I just wanted to... Okay, what number is that? Two, four, six, seven. That's number eight right there. Come on. Snapping. Oh. He's quite badly underground. But he's the last piece that I need, so. Yeah, 
like I said, this is honestly just our layout. And this is by no means the... Our full base. That piece is going to be a little bit tricky. There we go. See, this side's slightly sharper than the other, but it's fine. Okay, let's put the floor in. I may need to go get more wood. I need to dig out this piece here. But not like a big dig, just uh, like a one tap. Like so. Yeah, there's that missing wood I thought I'd run out on. That's why I deliberately brought the, the wood cart. Now you'll notice I'm actually running with a stamina build now while I'm building. But it's just uh, while I'm building. Okay. Uh, just to try and get this flooring right, it's going to be a little bit of a hassle. But hence why I'm running with stamina. As you can see, my stamina bar is draining like crazy. See, I misplaced that one there. Didn't even realize it. Okay. Smash that piece. Build that in. Way better. It's gonna be like a little dick. It's not going to be my only one, but I just wanted to get an idea of my layouts. You notice how nicely these things are now snapping in because they are they flush against the ground, but they're not under the ground. Like this piece that's coming up here would be. And then we'll need to go get some more wood. Yep, see? Knew it. <coughs> Pardon me. Some builders actually like to raise it off the ground, like just one half, half tile. Which is, it looks pretty nice, like when you start decorating it and stuff. But I found if you do it, and this is like you're a really skilled builder, uh, you'd start battling with a bit of stability in your build. Oops, that one's out of place. Which in itself isn't actually a problem, but for me, at the moment, It won't be ideal. I'm going to fix this up a bit better. See, like that. Mm. 
doesn't look as nice and it's costing me more wood. <laughs> okay, so we just do like that. Snap that piece. Snap that piece. Do it like that. And like that. See, now it doesn't look as bad as what the original setup. Okay. So this is obviously our door. Uh, placed it. I made a mistake. One door is fine. Uh, see, the intention was actually to do it like that. Okay, we can fix that in a bit. And I want to do the same thing over here. Okay. Now to start filling in. Uh, just for the sake of, I don't have that much wood to make this as nice as I would like. We're just going to do it a one, like a one story for the moment. And I will be making windows and stuff as well. I've got my own like little technique that I like to use for windows. I'm deliberately sinking it in just slightly. So we've got that little bit of a skirting board look. There is a way to actually make it snap just a little bit higher than what I'm snapping it. But like I said, I'm kind of doing it a little bit on purpose. Oops, oh, my tool broke. That means I gotta go to the other base to go fetch, to go repair my tool. And I'll pick up more wood as I run past you. See, ideally, what another way of building, I should have built the frame first. So we could have put the roof on and then filled out the walls. But there's like so many ways of doing it. And every way has like a, a different art style. It's like now, like these are little like lo long houses, almost. Not a hundred percent, but <coughs> but yeah, you get the idea of what, where I'm trying to go at with this. And we still build the little bridge so I can pull this cart over. And as you can see, I'm starting to run out of wood now. That's why I didn't want to go too big too quickly. And it's nice to know I don't need to install stairs there.
Okay, so now I need to go one in. But the question is, do I want to make... I'm going to be creative with those pieces. So we're going to go like so. Uh, we're going to start with the edges higher. Come on. The one downside when you're working lower than what you need to be. Like once I place this piece, it'll be easy. But to get this piece to snap, and then obviously the next floor up will also be a little bit of a challenge. But I'm gonna adjust the, the angle for the next floor. So like that was the the big slope. Oops. No, I won't be able to jump up there. <laughs> so then I make this one now the smaller slope, like so. And I must do the same for this side. See, the smaller one snap way easier than the, what the big one does. Then I obviously I need, now I need the smaller half piece there then we need the other slope again where is it now there like so now I can use the big normal pieces here this is why I was counting out the Uh, what you call it? And just to add just a slight variant, we're going to go for the taller roof on top, like so. Okay. So now we need to do the half walls. Boom. Boom. Big wall. Boom. Boom. Half slope. It's not true half slope, but you know what I mean. And then we need to go for the bigger angle. Okay, now for the difficult part. Is this all going to roof up? That needs to go like so. Okay, uh, how much? I need to go get some more wood quickly. I'll be right back. Oops. We do have a little bit of wood in that other other shed of mine. But hopefully this will be sufficient to finish the build. So now we go for the big slope, the 45 degree. And I'm gonna do all the 45 degree one time and then I'll do the other one after that so now I just snap to the roof here if it lets me there you go ok 
Okay, it's not going to let me go all the way across. Yeah. So, I'm going to have to build a... Build it out first. I can't just do all one click like I would like to. Because that won't happen if I finish off each layer. But I kind of wanted to take a shortcut. Okay, so now we need the 26 degree. And I'm just going to bolt one up, one down. Try and do it as fast as possible because it's getting dark. So you can see it's starting to go orange here, which means the gravity of the roof support is starting to give way. So we just go from one side to the other. You notice now I'm actually sheltered. How uh, we on wood? We should have enough to just to do this side. Oops. Now we go to the side quickly. I also think not a perfectly flat roof looks pretty decent. See, now that we've got that centerpiece, I'm going to battle here in the corner, this middle. But we'll tackle that in the morning when it's lighter. And I can show you guys what the build's going to look like. Actually, put this here. We'll grab some wood from the the other side and bring it over. <coughs> but we'll do that in the morning. So it looks like we have just enough wood, guys. I would have obviously have liked more, but yeah, it looks like we have just enough. So let's, oh, we need to repair our crafting tool. Let me see, we're going to grab some wood from here. See, all my carrots are nice and ready for harvesting. Let's do half. Yeah, carry half. Nice. Like, I, I still think I'm going to turn this area into like a harbor of some kind. But I want the main base to be fairly safe. See, now it's raining again. Yeah. At least I'm on the last section there. Eh? Okay. We want the big roof, yeah. Come on, snap, please. No, that's the wrong angle. But it's because we built the previous layer that it's, it's snapping nicely. Oh, got to get it facing the right way, don't I? And if you check here, it's like out of my range. But let's not mess around too much because of the weather. 
You'll see this whole like row will be red. But it shouldn't fall. Because the more I connect it, the stronger the support becomes. There we go. And if you remember, that's the piece I said I was a little bit worried about, the one in the center piece. So, the way we combat this, right? Uh, I'm going to get core wood. We can repair this little bit of damage in the center once I get back. I had a feeling I was going to need core wood. So let's run back there. It's a bit of a bummer that it started raining. Uh, and just so everyone's aware, core wood is actually stronger than normal wood. So when it comes to building supports, it's actually better to use core wood. And core wood's also got this little bit of a nicer finish to it. So just to show what I mean that the, the ground breaks with the weather. Let's bring up my repair tool. You can see there, it needs a repair. Slightly damaged, but it's only just started raining and it's not heavy. But only in that small section. See? So, okay, so now we need to, I don't want to go all the way over, but I want to strengthen this. So what we do is we place that one. Now you'll notice that will instantly create a stronger support. This one will be a little bit off, which is fine because of the doors here. Build that support there. And now what I do is I take a slightly smaller one. Of course now I'm sitting too low to be able to do this properly. I don't know if this will work. Ah, it does work. So ideally, I want to be able to snap up there. I want that point, that one. That's no, not in line. There we go. I'm actually being an idiot trying to jump up like that. There's like a way simpler way of doing it. So we take normal wood, put that one there. See, the, the core wood on the outside looks a little bit nice, but the door messes up the, the artwork of it. <coughs> Pardon me. So, we 
can just go like this. Oops. This is not here for any other purpose other than just to raise me up. I'm too low. So like now, now I can reach it. Like so. Now let's see. Will it break? It's all green as you can see. And I wanted the art style the same. All the way through. Oops. There's a hole in my roof. Okay. Looks pretty good. Looks stable. And I'm going to end the video here. But just to give you a quick look from the outside and why I layered the roof. I am going to do the sides and everything else as well. But looks pretty good. And obviously we're going to decorate our front porch here. And I need to move this over a little bit. But otherwise, I think it looks pretty good. Let's move this bench. Even the bench takes damage. So like that. Place this one here. like so and if anything that actually makes it an improvement if you ask me okay yeah we will still need that little half piece so, like now I'm standing in the way. But let me just place the flooring. Oopsie. Try to jump out and I jump back in. So all I need to do is like that. See how badly damaged those are, but they've been out in the full rain. See? But yeah, now I'd, I could take this piece, that one, that one, like so. Boom. Okay, that's the long one. No, it's the short one. Just to create a bit of a, a difference. At least with these, you won't see that I've attached them like that. You'll see it a little bit, but not like hectically. And then I'm going to take this little roof, maybe like so. Mm 
and then we're going to aim it, just aim it down just so that it looks neat I uh, just got to check up on top but yeah you won't notice that I did that from the top side Let's see if I can get up here yeah that doesn't look too bad I want to do the same for that other section as well but I'll do that in the next video so with that guys I want to say thank you for watching I hope you enjoyed yourselves and I shall see you guys in the next one let's have a blessed day this is ages signing out